Hey VC, how's everybody doing? Um, hope everything is going well. It's been a while since I've uh, put anything out, uh, video uh, as an update or anything else, but this is an update and um, some vinyl that I got during my time away. Um, during the time that I've, my last video in between now, uh, I, I did get sick with COVID. Uh, my whole family got it. Um, I think I got it out of my family, my in my household, I got it the worst. Um, it was like the worst flu I've ever had in my life. Um, I lost about 10 pounds um, and I still have a few residual issues uh, with breathing sometimes and in my throat. Um, I did lose a lot of hair uh, for some reason um, and thankfully it's growing back. So I'm just, I have just been growing it out. So, um, I did, uh, lose my father, uh, in January on the 6th. So that's been very difficult for me. Um, and you know, my dad was my best friend, you know, I always, uh, spent a lot of time talking to him and he would always be here with me and, uh, we'd just kind of shoot the breeze and stuff, talk about old times when he was a kid, and things like that, so I really miss that, um, but uh, it's, uh, you know, we're getting through, um, I'm doing good, doing well, but I did, um, I, I didn't get to see him when he died, when he passed away, because they wouldn't allow us to see him, um, so that's been, that was rough, I could only talk to him on the phone. So yeah, we had a service for him and right after the service a few days later, I got sick. We all started getting sick. So uh, that's just the way it happened. And you know, we're just still carrying on and doing what my dad would have wanted us to do. You know, uh, but I did during that time uh, buy some records before he passed and then after I got better, I started buying a few more records just to kind of keep my mind going and listening to more music. And uh, I've been doing more artwork and stuff like that. So uh, let me show you what I got and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, the first one I got was uh, him. Uh, this is like his greatest hits album. Um, so I keep saying um, it is a gatefold. It is a double album, and it has songs, uh, Strange World, Join Me in Death, Heart Killer, Wings of a Butterfly, which was a big hit for him, Kiss of Dawn, which was also a hit, Funeral of Hearts, Right Here in My Arms, um, Wicked Game, Killing Loneliness, uh, Scared to Death, so there was a lot of good songs for him on here. Uh, it is, like I said, on double vinyl, and it's just black vinyl. Oh. Sorry, it is on black vinyl. There it is. Uh, the second album I got, I actually got it for like eight bucks because I had a bunch of CDs I traded in. And it is um, Saxon Carpe Diem Seize the Day. Of course, this is the gatefold with the band. There we go. Has the lyrics on the sleeve. I don't know what they call a lyric sheet, but this is more just like a mini poster, which is cool. is on black vinyl so here it is <laughs> yeah I got this at CD exchange and I traded in a bunch of CDs that I was clearing out um, and because I wanted to pick up some more vinyl and I hadn't actually bought any vinyl in a very long time so I just thought you know what get some new Saxon 
start jamming out, start rocking out, and kind of chase your blues away. You know what I mean? So we did that. Um, this one, next one I got, I got from a um, antique mall, uh, and I don't, I've never. I've never had I never had a, one of these albums, uh, especially from this band, which is my favorite band. I do have their CDs, I just don't have any vinyl, and they're getting their vinyl was really hard for me. Um, but it's Rush, it's Power Windows. In fact, let me just take it out of there so you guys don't get the glare, or as much glare. And I got this, and it's in great shape. I mean, it's used vinyl. Um, this is my first Rush record, so uh, I've <laughs> some you're like well, how come you never have any more Rush records if they're one of your favorite bands? Well, I don't I don't get a lot of VCLT. Actually, I've never received any VCLT, so I've never received any records from anyone. I you know I kind of I feel bad if that happens, <laughs> but uh, you know finding Rush records is really hard to find. But of course, I had the inner sleeve, which is in great condition, and the vinyl itself was just in great condition too it was just amazing and i loved it so um rush is not one of my wife's favorite bands but it is one of my favorite bands so um the the little shop that i picked it up from at the at the uh, at the antiques mall was called 2112 <laughs> so you could tell they were big rush fans the only thing i would say is that this it has a little scratch right here like a little um, cover came off but not too bad. So really happy with it and it plays wonderful. So Awesome, I'm just glad I have a Rush record. <laughs> I'd like to get um, a 2112, Moving Pictures, um, you know, I mean, there's just so many records I'd like to get from them. So right now my mind starts drawing a blank. Um, another, another record I picked up, was uh, Standing Hampton, Hampton uh, from Sammy Hagar. You kind of all know what that means. But <laughs> um, this is a really great record. Uh, it's got a lot of great songs on here. Um, Baby's on Fire, There's Only One Way to Rock, uh, I'll Fall in Love Again, Heavy Metal. So uh, th this is just a great album. The album is in really good shape. Came with the inner sleeve. So it plays well, no skips, no scratches. So I was really happy to have a Sammy Hagar. Um, I find this stuff quite a bit, but it's kind of scratched and just not in great shape. Another album that's probably, that's one of my, um, as the rush it was uh, on my want list um, was Warren T. Uh, down for the count. Man, I can't hardly read. Down for the count. A great band. They never got the recognition they deserved, but they did have that. Probably one of their biggest hit songs off of this album, which is one of my favorite songs from Warren T. Used to hear it when I was a kid. I love the the Universal Monsters and the you know the the robot from uh, uh, Metropolis on here. So. It looks great. Love it. Uh, this, the uh, album is in great, great shape. Sorry if my throat gets a little dried out. Uh, I start getting raspy and stuff because I've been having problems with that ever since. Um, here's a, so I got a, I got quite a few records. So um, here's another one. That was on my want list. This is from Music on Vinyl. This is Dream Theater. Uh, when Dream and Day Unite. Uh, this is a really good album. Um, I know the singer, the former lead singer, he has a solo band named after him, which is just a great, great band. You can find them on Spotify. And I forget the singer's name, but uh, let me see if I can get his name. If there's a Charlie Dominici, so Charlie Dominici, there he is right here. You can find the band Dominici on Spotify, really great band. And uh, he, you know, 
he's a good singer. Uh, I, I saw a video of him and James LeBray singing together as in a Dream Theater show. So I thought that was really cool. And I'm uh, really glad to have this album. So yeah, check out that Dominici band. It's really good. So another progressive metal band that's been one of my favorites for years. Um, uh, it's the New Fates Warning. Uh, Long Day, Good Night. This is a really good album. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it is a uh, Eightfold. The singer, the new, new singer, um, let me show you. It's got the inner sleeve here. Really cool. And this is also a, dub, a double album. Get everything put back in its place. And what I love about this uh, Metal Blade Records, they give you really cool sleeves. And the, the vinyl is on uh, orange vinyl. It's on orange vinyl. Ah, gotta check it out. There it is. Pretty cool. And I love the sleeves that Metal Blade gives you, gives you so polyline sleeves, really nice, really nice. So yeah, I've been picking up a lot of Fate's Warning stuff. Uh, this, the record is like, it has like a matte finish. It feels like uh, more like paper, it's not very glossy. Uh, it is, it is, has a thickness to it, but it's not so thick. But it's, like I said, I love this. Um, the singer for this band, the actually he's the second singer, uh, is actually from San Antonio, Texas. And they did perform here recently, so. Great stuff. Um, this one, I waited almost a month to get this in because it had to clear customs. Um, this is an import and it has the same matte finish and it is from Fate's Warning. This is Parallels. Uh, probably my favorite uh, of the um, of this era, of the singer. Here he is. There, he's from San Antonio. So uh, my favorite album from this, from his singing um, John Archer has my favorite album from Fate's Warning Awaken the Guardian um, this one is great Eye to Eye was a single off of this it was a great album it came with some things here yeah there you go it's Ray Adler is the singer came with this really cool, huge poster. Of the cover, I have to lean back so you guys can see that. So I'd like to hang this one up, but it also has, on the other side, pictures of the band. Pretty amazing, I uh, really enjoyed it love listening to this record and of course this is a metal blade record so you know metal blade is going to give you a really cool uh sleeve an outer sleeve there you go and it is polylined and the vinyl is on black vinyl so the the inner labels are really cool but really pleased to get get this one um, haven't seen too much of this one actually I haven't seen it at all on the VC but um, yeah it's out there man and if you can find one of these go get it <laughs> I've got a friend who has some uh, has a 
record store called Bat Cave Vinyl. And um, he has actually some uh, Fate's, Fate's Warning records. Um, although the one that he has is No Exit, which is probably my least favorite of the Fate's Warning records. So, and then he, I did a show this past weekend and I was selling some of my art there. Um, sorry, I'll put this one back later. Selling some of my art there and everything else, and I bought this from him. Mr. Big, the Lean Into It album. This is the 3,168 of 5,000. So this is really cool. Let me open that up. I think, yeah, this is the Record Store Day 2021, but I guess it was just released recently. Um, this is really cool. It's got the lyric sheet with the, with the guys in the band. The late great, of course, Pat Torpe, or Torpe, okay. great drummer. It's a polyline sleeve, so that's cool, and it is on red vinyl. Really great. I haven't heard it yet, so. I'll look forward to spinning this one. But yeah, uh, I was going to get the Fate's Warning from him, but opted not to when I saw the Mr. Big. So, and I do have Mr. Big's first record, so it was only only made sense to get to get this one. Um, seeing that No Exit from Fate's Warning was probably my least favorite Fate's Warning album. The thing that I'm blown away by is though is he had uh, records by Symphony X on vinyl, and they were like three hundred and fifty dollars. Had like three of them, two or three of them, I believe. So he had an uh, Electra, two Electra records of Metallica's um, Justice for All, and um, I believe it was Master of Puppets, and those were selling for like $200. So pretty insane. Uh, this one I ordered, I forgot where I ordered it from, but. This will complete my Metallica collection all the way up to the Black Album. Um, so I've got all the Metallica albums all the way up to the Black Album. The Black Album is the Walmart exclusive marble. I, I showed that in a previous video. But I, I finally got this one. Um, Kill them all. There you go. It's a great album. I love this one lyric sheet. I'm sure if you guys have seen this before, you know, and it is on black vinyl. Hundred eighty gram, of course. Uh, looking forward to spinning this one. Haven't spun it yet. I'm gonna try to pick up some more vinyl. Uh, it's been uh, a little rough with the way the economy is going. Uh, so this is just stuff that I've bought through my last video, which was some time, some time ago. And um, just collecting records that, you know, I don't get to buy like a whole bunch of records at one time. I haven't gone to any um, con record conventions to buy anything. Uh, the prices of vinyl have really gone up. So um, I'll pick baby up one and then I'll hold on to that one, listen to it, and then uh, pick up another one, you know, sometime later. And as time goes by, uh, I try not to spend more than about $30, $35 on, on one record. Uh, so I know the 
Mr. Big was 36, um, which wasn't bad. I mean, you know, it's a brand new record. It's a reissue. It's colored vinyl. It's 180 gram and limited to 5,000, which I get, you know. Um, you know, I do have a, a wish list of stuff. I, I wish I could get some Sabotage, um, Hall of the Mountain King, the other one that's coming out, which is a Gutter Ballet. Uh, I love Sabotage. Uh, I wish I could get some more Rush. Some I don't I have. I only have two Black Sabbath records, which uh, which is the Headless Cross and the Eternal Idol. So I would love to get some Black Sabbath of Dio and Ozzy. Um, don't have any of those. Um, I've been looking to try to get Dio's Holy Diver, which now is really hard for me to get. Uh, like I said, some Rush stuff like that, but. Um, and even some Pink Floyd, you know, uh, Dark Side of the Moon. I do have The Wall, but that's the only Pink Floyd I have. So I haven't been really uh, able to, to get s some stuff. I, I'm also trying to get some Scorpions records. I only have, uh, uh, is it Strange, uh, gosh, Strange World or something like that. Um, my mind goes blank. So it, I've been having this problem ever since <laughs> I, got, I got COVID. Um, so this, those things like that, I'm trying to get some more Scorpions, Rush, you know, so we'll see what happens. Um, just want to thank you guys for uh, sticking with me and sticking with my channel. I really appreciate it. And you guys take care of yourselves out there and God bless you and I love you and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay.